Hello and welcome to another Hurling Dingle. So what I've done, I've just stopped here because the resin's coming out of this tree. This is a spotted gum. And there's a lot of the red resin coming out. Okay. And what I want to do, just using a little bit of bark here as a collector. Don't want to damage the tree too much. Um, so I'm just going to collect some of this resin. And I'm going to try and use it as a kind of like primitive uh, paint. Uh, I was talking to a chap called Free Bullet, and this is his knife. And he says that if you take this, mix it with a little bit like a white spur or metal, you can kind of like make a primitive uh, die for wood. And I thought it might be an interesting one for like little knives I make and stuff. Uh, so I'm just going to collect some of this stuff and dissolve it in some white spurts and see how it turns out. I got some in my hands here. It's actually a really nice colour. <laughs> Uh, it looks like I uh, had a bit of an accident going to the toilet there or something. But anyway, this is his knife. Uh, and I pretty much I wanted to talk about the knife and show you the little sheaf I made for it. Okay, but that's going to be an interesting little experiment. Okay, this is uh, Al from Herling Dingo. So it started to really blow a gale out there. So I decided to do the little knife review in the shed in the workshop. Uh, as you saw, I collected that uh, resin from the spotted gum, and I got back to the workshop. So I put that in a little bit of uh, in a little bit of white spirit, and I'm just going to let that slowly dissolve and see whether it's going to be any good for uh, staining wood, uh, like Free Bullet suggested. It's a good suggestion, mate. Thanks for that. Uh, I was trying to do the same thing with okra. Okra is just essentially clay, but it wasn't really working. It just sits in the top of the wood. It doesn't really penetrate the timber. So bit of an experiment. See if it works. Anyway, so the knife I was using there, so this is a free bullet's knife. He said I could have a little little uh, loan of it and a little bash of it in the woods. And it's quite, I have to say, I quite like this knife. <laughs> it's not the usual, my usual sort of sort of thing, but I have to say, I'm really warm to it. I mean, it is a really well made knife. It's made by BTR Knife Works, okay? You can find them on Facebook. Um, just again, it's just a small guy. One guy makes knives and you just see he's working, so you straight away you know you've got a quality maker, you know. There's a very nice Makata here, you know, a little bit of a forged finish, you know, as sharp as it has when I when I got it and you know just quality steel, really made well made, simple design. Uh you know, it's just a brilliant little neck knife, you know. Uh, it reminds me a little, little bit just a tad of uh, Asian knives, something like a Reminds me a little bit of Santogo or Debbie Debbie Bocho, some of the Asian style knives. But just as a little neck knife, it's great, you know. Yeah? And it just works really well, fits well on the hand. Uh, thanks a lot, uh, Free Bullet, for sending sending it to me and letting me have a little play. So he said, make me. He wanted wanted the sheath, so I made him a little sort of sheath. It's a little basic uh, leather sheath, you know. Uh, which I think complements the knife quite well, you know, the two kind of marry together quite well, which is always, you know, I mean, there's three things I look for in a sheath, really. The first one's probably just like, you know, aesthetic thing, you know, does the sheath match the knife, you know, and I think I've succeeded there. And also the other thing is, is it going to poke out? No way with that welt and stuff, you know, you're going to take, it's no way that it's going to, uh, endanger yourself if you fall on the handle or anything like that and the second thing or third thing rather is that it stays in so that's the three points you know it does it complement the knife is it stable it's not going to the blade isn't going to poke out and is it going to like have enough friction in there to stay in there and you can see you know see there's no way you're going to lose that I mean you don't want to lose your knife in the bush if you fall over and you know obviously you don't want to hurt yourself having a having a blade like that yeah uh, when you fall over, falling out, it's obviously potentially quite uh, dangerous. So just with the design here, uh, he wanted a bit sort of less sheath, but I said, look, for safety reasons, just for the friction, you know, we need a little bit more sheath to it, and I've done it so it just it'll just catch your finger here. Do you know what I mean? So it's, he wanted a little bit less, but I kind of argued for a little bit more sheath for leather. Maybe with Kydex you could have you could have gone a bit further down. And also the other thing was he just these are these are two holes and I've made it into an into a neck sheath. And Free Bullet originally just wanted like a plain 
no belt loop, no nothing. Because uh, he rides it in his pocket, he just has the, uh, the the sheath and the knife in his pocket, and that's how he rolls. You know what I mean? He doesn't tie in his belt or put it around his neck or anything like that. It's a bit unusual, but that's how he rolls. It works for him. It's fair enough. But what I suggested was let's just punch a couple of holes in there. And by punching a couple of holes, it just gives them a few different options. Like, you know, you can shorten that and you can just tie that on your belt, like a sort of like a, like a little bit like the scanty style sheaths, you know. Or you can turn it into a neck knife because there might be certain circumstances, river crossings, canoe trips, uh, stuff like that, where you know, just just having your your knife in your pocket might not just be uh, may not be good enough. So anyway, I uh, recommend this guy's work. Very nice. Always nice to see uh, good knife knife makers out there. Guys guys over in the states, BTR Knife Works. You know, top job. Interesting design. Great in the hand, cuts well, does quite well for woodcraft, for food prep it's amazing. Just great little knife, you know, you done well there for your bullet. Uh, and that's just the matching sheath I've done, which hopefully when I send it out to him, he'll be happy with that. Anyway, little knife review, look at some other stuff. Hope you guys are enjoying Howling Dingo. That's all for the moment, folks.